Welcome to the Good Karma Sport Fishing Podcast. I'm your host, Captain Ryan Van Fleet. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today is Good Karma Saturdays, and it's a new program I just launched. Uh, I talked briefly about it last, in last week's podcast. Now, this is a new coaching program where I help people remotely. If you're interested, you can email me at goodkarmaryan at gmail.com. Okay, I want to talk a little bit about Crew One. Uh, Crew One is like awesome. And I just got an, I want to read you guys a, a review from one of my new um, members, and it goes like this. Uh, best fishing club ever. Guys are so nice and always trying to help the new and old members. Everybody works together in the club, okay? It's a little different than most, um, it's the 90 to 100% of the fishing clubs out there. Uh, I was involved with a fishing club down here in Key Largo years ago, and I was looking for a club that, you know, could help. And I had contacted them and, you know, and I went to a couple of meetings and the emails that I got back were like, this is not a learning club. We're not here to help. Um, and I kept getting those messages back. So I'm like, I just said, this isn't the club for me. Uh, nothing against the club, but I was like, eh, you know, so anyway, so I departed from that club and I was like, if I'm going to start a club here in the future, uh, this is what it's going to be. Everybody's going to help each other and you're going to learn from it. Okay. You're going to learn. And that's what I wanted. I wanted it to club, a club for learning. So that's what the good karma rigging club is all about. And the guys that are in the club help other members as well. Everybody's free and honest about what they're doing. And yeah, that's what it's about. So the new member like confirmed everything that I was like wanting out of the club and it's awesome 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 so he writes he's the newest member to the club and in such a little time he's already caught his personal best kubera and big mangrove snappers definitely a game changer if you guys want to learn how to fish and be successful you should join the club major props to melinda and captain ryan he's the best captain and it's not close that's what he wrote <laughs> You're going to learn a lot from him. Thanks, bud, for that awesome review. I really appreciate it. Now, within the rigging club, I'm offering tips, okay? Strategies, time management. Time management on the water is extremely important, okay? When to move spots, when to be where, what not to do. Like, how many rods should you bring? Everybody's so overwhelmed. Um, fighting current. That's another thing. Guys, I'm reading all this stuff about like deep dropping and setting baits and like, and what I don't read is like, okay, what do you do when you have a, a swell slapping you inside of the face when you're trying to set against a, like a, in, in a certain current? I mean, they don't talk about that stuff in seminars. Like, I don't get it. Like 90% of the time there's like an offshore swell, okay? And if you're turning your boat and you're making your drops and then you're, you're heading to the north and you're turning south and you're getting slapped in the side and you're getting beat around, that stuff isn't included in all these seminars you guys are reading and listening to. Everything's like perfect. That's not the case. That is not the case. Especially for you guys that are in small boats, okay? So what I'm doing in these groups is that I'm helping these guys with realistic scenarios, okay? I fish all the time. I'm very honest about conditions, okay? And and I actually document everything and I show them like what's happening, which way the swell's coming from. Like, what do you do in that case? You do not see that anywhere. You do not see that, especially when guys are talking about deep dropping. Oh, you need to run your boat this way and do this. And every video I've seen, it's been flat calm. They don't talk about getting slapped in the side by an offshore swell or trying to maintain a spot. Listen, there's more to it out there, okay? Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. It's hard. And it takes a lot of practice, and you got to see all these conditions. So what I'm doing in the groups is I'm helping these guys, and I'm trying to, like, advance them to know that when they do see stuff is that this is what they do, okay? So just know that. And within the groups, I'm giving them special tips, okay? I'm trying to stay ahead of the curve. I do my absolute best. I'm not afraid to try things. So just recently on a trip, now take note, is that I'm using um, snakehead. So years ago when I learned about the guys using snakeheads for swordfish bait, 
And I was like, I bet that'll work for other things as far as um, Yellowtail Snapper goes because the skin's really tough. But I never actually cut open a snakehead to see what they look like, okay? Now, if you guys, for you guys don't know what snakeheads are, they're, they're, they're the exotics that, that you catch in the canal systems in Miami and all the lakes up there. Uh, they're just infested with these things. So the guys years ago figured out that they could use these snakeheads for um, swordfish baits. And Sea Spook Baits makes an awesome one. And just recently, I got a um, a Sea Spook rigged um, swordfish, or um, I'm sorry, a Sea Spook Baits rigged um, snakehead. I uh, actually felt the texture, and it's I was like, whoa, this is going to be nice. So what I did was I had some clients, and I'm like, hey, man, catch me some snakeheads. Let's bring them down. I want to cut them open and take a look at them. So last week, some clients brought me down some snakeheads, and I filleted them there at the dock, and I was like, wow, the meat's like, was really is really white and really clean and this like the skin is really tough and we ended up cutting up little bits of them and using them for yellowtail bait and i have to say that they work <laughs> on yellowtail they don't the skin is like super tough i left the scales on probably what i would do the next time that you can do it either way is that you can descale them and then use them that way but if you leave the scales on you could really like the the stuff is like impossible to get off you could probably catch two or three five or six yellowtail on one bait. Uh, the skin is really white, so it does, it, it looks like a piece of chum in the water. Now, you could really get fancy with it, and you could dye it, and you could cut it, and make it into, um, you could rig some absolutely phenomenal, probably phenomenal strips to troll. So what you could do is you could dye that skin, and like, you know, dye the scales, and <laughs> you can dye them pink, dye them blue, you can do whatever to them to, you know, give it some coloration, but that, I have to say the the skin on those snakeheads are like <laughs> they're like they're like armor. Uh, so, but like I said, probably the next time what I'm gonna do when I, I I mean I've got one big fillet left, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale it and then take the scales off and just use the you know use that skin for yellowtail bait. And then um, I mean if you want to take it a step further, you can soak it in squid scent or you can soak it in like menhaden oil. Give it a little bit more of a, you know, if, you, if you're looking at that. But I have to say it worked. I mean, the stuff will match. The, when you descale that fish, you will see that it matches the chum. And that's what you guys need. And, I mean, honestly, yellowtail fishing is really just about, like, a tough piece of skin and matching the chum that you're using. That's really what it is. That's why I've talked in the past about mullet being really good. And if you look at this, like, when you cut open the the snake head and you look at the fillet it's really clean and it it's actually matches that skin of a um a nice white it's really white <laughs> so it's absolutely uh gorgeous looking meat but um yeah the yellow tails like it and i'm going to be doing a little bit more of it probably this week i've got one big fillet left and i'll talk more about it here next week and let you know some more but if you have access to some snake heads and have some kids in your neighborhood or go catch some of these snakeheads and, and try them out. Strip them out, dye them, try them for um, dolphin. Like you can dye the um, the skin pink and blue and there's all sorts of dye, dyes out there. You can use Rit dye to um, dye the skin. Like, I don't know. I'm not going to like try, try shit out. That's what it's all about if you have time. I don't get the, a chance to dye much anymore. I really don't have time at home. So, but I'm, so as I get a hold of the, the snake heads, I will, um, I'm, I'm going to continue using them for bait. So, uh, yeah. So there's my fishing tip for you guys today. Don't be afraid to try some of these weird exotics out there. Like ladyfish, ladyfish. I remember the first time I used ladyfish heads for uh, mutton snappers. I caught a big mutton snapper on it. So, uh, they have big eyes, big heads, they're silver, butterfly them up, send them down. Don't be afraid to try stuff, you know? It's like like grunts. Grunts work amazing for mutton snappers. The butterfly them up. When you catch a, like, don't send them down live. What you have to do is um, you catch some grunts, you catch them quivering, and then cut them up and butterfly them, send them down. There you go. That's my fishing tips for you guys today. But the snakehead thing, I'm like... It's my new, my new little passion project. So I got to have some, I, I just me, you guys that know me, know me. So I'm always looking for something fun to, 
catch fish with. So, um, so if you're interested in joining the Good Karma Rigging Club, like I said, we're we're digging into a lot of good stuff here. Uh, we're going to get back into wahoo fishing here within the next um, month or so, um, getting guys ready for the fall. And also, too, for you guys that are new to Wahoo Fishing, and I've got the Good Karma Saturday program available where I'll guide you guys from home remotely as far as um, getting you guys set up for Wahoo Fishing on Saturdays. Uh, where to be, what to use, what I'm using, where the fish at, um, where I've been catching them, where to focus your on on depths and, and fishing spots. Um, tracks, just a lot more to it. Um, you actually get the pictures of my GPS and um, yeah. So anyway, so that's Good Karma Saturdays. Uh, Rigging Club 1 and 2, email me at goodkarmaryan at gmail.com. Recreational fishermen only. Uh, this month we're, next, actually next month we're talking about black grouper fishing and some other stuff. Uh, helping guys out with the drift. Teaching them how to like read current using satfish. Uh, just a lot to it. Uh, so uh, satfish is amazing. I use it every day. I get up, I look at it twice a day. And I just posted a story on my Instagram showing you guys where to find the dolphin at. And just plug in the, plug in the numbers and that's a good starting point for you. So satfish is awesome. So for satfish, just go to satfishoffshore.com. And at checkout, use um, code GOODKARMA. For twenty-five dollars off your first year. Now there is a thirty-day thirty-day trial, which is awesome. Use it, figure it out if you like it. I love it. The guys in my group love it. They're using it. They're catching fish, saving them a lot of time and money, and that's what it's all about. Dolphin fishing's not the same, and you need an edge out there. Okay, you need an edge to know what the current's doing, and if you're going to be really good, I would and, and want to skip those years of learning curves. Uh, Satfish is going to really help you understand what's going on with the ocean. Okay. So awesome product. Okay. If you're looking to book a charter with me, uh, I do not have any availability in June. Okay. I'm, I'm completely full. Uh, but if you're looking to fish with me in July, I have some dates open. You can email me at goodkarmaryan at gmail.com. And in July, we're, you know, bottom fishing mostly. Um, not doing any sort of dolphin fishing until I know that it's worth taking clients out there. I do not like to take people out there and go for a boat ride. We, I like to go fishing. I like to let them fish. Okay, Good Karma is a 100% like you are fishing. I do not catch the fish for you. I show you how to set lines. I teach you on the trips, okay? And it's a very rewarding experience because you're the one actually setting the hook and catching the fish, and there are no mates, okay? I do not want a mate involved with my program. I want you guys to like learn and just pass it on. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Good Karma Sport Fishing underscore FL underscore Keys. Email me at Good Karma Ryan at gmail.com. And remember, anytime you're fishing, it's all good.